What's up, friends? Jay Steam right back here again. Another October 2014 review for you. This is going to be Dead Girl from 2008, recommended by my good buddy and fellow Sausage Factory member, uh, Pizzal. Thanks a lot for the recommendation, man. I'm, I'm glad I went back and watched this film. I, I'd seen it before back when it came out, and it had a good bit of a buzz around it. Um, but I think this film does does warrant a, a rewatch because I, I noticed some things that I didn't remember before. Uh, it is directed by Marcel Sarmiento, Gardi Horrell, and it is written by Trent Haga. And uh, the main stars of this film... Uh, Shiloh Fernandez, Noah Segan, Candice Akola, and uh, the title character, Dead Girl, is Jenny Spann. Um, yeah, this film, well, before I get started, uh, th th this film's about these kids that find a, essentially a zombie in an old abandoned hospital, and, uh, you know, they, they pull her out, and they, uh, it's, it's funny in the context of this film. It's not funny, at, you know, and if this happened in real life. But uh, these kids find this this girl, and and one of the boys is really you know troubled with it, and wants to report it to the authorities, whatever. But the other one is like really infatuated with it, and he starts to you know have sex with this uh, dead girl, and uh, yeah, you know brings his buddies over, has sex with her as well, and uh, you know. <laughs> that's basically what the majority of the film was about but uh <laughs> a friend of mine uh, dave i'm not going to give his uh his his full name away because i don't want him to be uh to be outed here but he asked the the question would you hit it and i think that's a great question to uh to ask you guys out there would you hit the dead girl uh, um you know now obviously I'd, I'd say no absolutely not um but uh you know, I don't know. I, I would hope in my moments of desperation when I was a youngster, you know, uh, I was a pretty desperate little a little kid. So uh, my fingers are crossed that I would say no. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that. Um, hopefully I would have said no. But, uh, you know, when I when I first watched this film, when I, when I was thinking back on it, I, I remembered the dead girl being relatively attractive. And uh, the actress that, that, that plays her is, but, man, she's... <laughs> She's pretty gnarly and nasty in this flick, and as time goes on, like she's just like decaying and rotting, and the kids are like, I think they eventually like resort to like wound fucking, basically, uh, the, just like holes in her body, Ugh, so gross. But uh, they uh, I forgot where I was going with that. But uh, oh yeah, the uh, but yeah, she's pretty nasty looking, and uh, she's got like a merkin that's like as big as my beard like it's like a fucking bush like this big um which is which is funny because you know it's fake but uh i guess i had to throw that in there to get whatever rating they were going for even though it's uh pretty some pretty serious shit going on in there but uh you know when you look when you look past all of that this is basically a uh coming of age tale of a young boy he's in love with uh this one girl who that's joanne who wants nothing to do with him you know she's dating a jock or whatever and uh that's uh ricky is the main the main kid in the, in the film and he's the one that did not want to have sex with a dead girl and jt is his buddy the you know class clown guy that is his entire life revolves around just screwing this dead girl from that point on um so that becomes his life he moves in he lives up at this hospital but um yeah ricky's in love with joanne and uh you know he, he just you know that's that's the crux of the film and you know the, i don't want to give away the end of the film but uh you know he eventually does get to uh prove his love to joanne and uh yeah man this is a this is a tough watch this was it was definitely harder to watch the second time around um they're near the end you know the the last uh third of the movie is is pretty rough stuff um but uh yeah big recommendation on this one if you guys haven't seen it it's a uh, not really a horror movie it has horror elements in it um you could probably argue you know either way but <clears throat> it's some pretty horrific stuff going on that's for sure but uh yeah big recommendation on this one and i know a lot of you guys have seen this uh so let me know what you think about it and would you hit it thanks for watching guys peace